If your optical drive is giving you trouble, it might be time for a new one. Today is that day. Get your tools together and meet me at the workbench, because today I'm going to show you how to switch out the optical drive in your PS4. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair you're going to need a Phillips number one screwdriver, a TR9 Torx security screwdriver, and if you feel like you need the help of tweezers to disconnect cables, grab a pair of those. I'm also using the help of my magnetic mat. It's not listed as one of the tools for this repair, but I never do a repair without one. When you do your repair, be sure to follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com. Not only does it walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users that have followed it, which is really cool and very helpful. Before we begin, make sure your PS4 is off and unplugged from any power source. Now you can start by flipping your PlayStation over onto its top and remove the four stickers that conceal the first screws that need to be removed to get inside. Just FYI, removing these stickers does void your warranty, but let's be real, when has that ever stopped you? With the stickers out of the way, now we can remove the four T9 Torx security screws on the back of the game system. After those are out, we can just lift the front piece and slide the panel towards the back. Pretty easy, I know. Now we can see the next few screws we need to take care of, starting with the three T9 Torx security screws and the two Phillips screws. Next, we're going to lift straight up on the power supply, but don't go pulling it off yet. It's still connected to the motherboard via a wire plug that we need to disconnect off the motherboard. Once this is disconnected, you can pull the power supply right out. With the power supply out of the way, we can now remove a couple of cables from the motherboard. Be sure to also deroute the optical drive cable while you're there. Just like that, we now move on to the screws holding the optical drive in place. There are four Torx security screws attaching the Wi-Fi antenna and the optical drive. Remove those and we can move on. Finally, we can lift and remove the Wi-Fi antenna to get to the optical drive. Now the optical drive is free and ready for liftoff. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse, or you can watch the PlayStation 4 reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.